So the first thing I do in the morning is I grab the bunny's veggie plate and their water dishes. I'm also just kind of picking up Sterling and Evie's pen while I'm grabbing their water dish. Then I go ahead and take the water dishes and the veggie plates into the kitchen. Then I go over to the sink to make sure I rinse out the veggie dish and the water dishes really well. I also sometimes have YouTube going in the morning as I'm doing my morning chores. So as I'm in the kitchen, I just kind of play it in the background just so I can listen to it while I'm doing things. Then I go ahead and fill up the bunny's water dishes out of the fridge. This is just filtered water and I prefer to feed my rabbits filtered water, especially since I live in the city and I'm just not a huge fan of city water. Then I go ahead and grab the bunny's veggies out of the fridge. I'm running a little bit low on veggies in this video, so I don't have a ton of different varieties, but I have three different types of lettuce that I am giving them in this specific day. And then I just go ahead and rinse the veggies really well under the sink. Just make sure there's no dirt, bugs, or anything else on the lettuce before I give it to the bunnies. Then I go ahead and bring the veggies into the bunny room. And I can only walk with one water dish at a time, and even that, I kind of fail at it. I always spill the water every single day, no matter what. So I try to just do one at a time so I don't spill them more than I should. But yeah, I'm just very uncoordinated. <laughs> Then I go ahead and give the bunnies their veggies. I scatter feed Sterling and Ebony as this is just a very good enrichment activity. It's also good for rabbits who struggle with weight gain so they're not just sitting in one place and just eating all the time. And it's more natural for rabbits as rabbits are naturally grazers and in the wild they move as they eat. So it's just a very good thing to consider doing with your bunnies. And then I just go ahead and grab their water dish and place it into their pen. And then for Lulu, I just feed her veggies off of a plate because she does have pretty bad arthritis considering she's 10 and a half years old. And then I'm also placing her water dish back in her pen. Then I go ahead and just use this old litter box to uh, take out the old hay out of Lulu's box. I'm just taking out the old oat hay that she has eaten off of and I'm just gonna go ahead and throw that stuff in the trash and replace it with fresh new stuff. I don't replace her orchard grass or Timothy hay every single time just because she doesn't eat it all in 12 hours. So I just kind of like mix it up and uh, turn it over so that it smells all nice and fresh. And then I'm just going ahead and picking up random things that I see uh, like little poops or pieces of litter or pieces of hay just to try and keep it a little bit cleaner. I had just cleaned the pens the day before I filmed this so they weren't too bad. And then I just went back over to Sterling and Ebony's pen and tried to pick up a little bit more. There is hay on the floor, but that's because I feed them hay out of this little hay toy every single night. So a little bit of hay does get on the ground, but I just leave it there and I vacuum it up every couple of days just because they tend to eat the hay off the floor and it doesn't really bother me and it doesn't bother them. But I try to put all the poops back into the litter boxes every time I feed them just to keep everything all nice and clean. Then I go ahead and try to pull the hay out of the hay boxes. So just like pull it out of the little holes. This just makes it a little bit easier for them to eat the hay. And Sterling is sitting in a cute little basket because he's cute. So then I go ahead and set up the playtime area. So I just grab these little pens that blocks off uh, part of the walls and Lulu's pen so that the bunnies can't smell each other or get at each other. And then the other pen goes on the other side to block off the door so that they don't chew the door. But I'm going ahead and placing these little cage liner things on the ground for them to run on. I haven't bought any rugs for this area yet and the bunnies don't like running on hard floors. So that's just what I did. Uh, but then the bunnies can run around in the hallway area as they please all day long and they tend to stay in their pen area most of the day because they really love sleeping in there. 
But then they also do like to come out every random once in a while and just like run through the tunnel or the Heidi house or just like sniff around or come look through the pen. I just really like giving them this option to explore or come out whenever they want to. And then at night, I kind of do the same thing all over again. I grab the bunny's water dishes and their veggie plate. And then just like in the morning, I take it into the kitchen to be rinsed out so that I can refill the water dishes and give them more veggies. And there you can see I'm refilling the water dishes again, nothing special. And then I'm just grabbing their veggies out of the fridge so that I can make their salad for the night. And then I just go ahead and rinse their veggies again to make sure there's no dirt or anything else on there. And rinsing the veggies also helps provide extra water. So then I just go ahead and feed the bunnies their veggies and Sterling really wanted a piece, so I just gave him one. But I'm just taking half the salad to feed Sterling and Ebony and I'm actually scatter feeding them. So I'm scatter feeding them into this hallway playtime area and then also in this little walkway back to their pen. And then the rest of the veggies, I'm also spreading around inside of their pen. Then I go ahead and put Lulu's veggies in her pen, but then I'm going to Sterling and Ebony's litter boxes and I'm just cleaning them out. I don't clean them out every single day. It's like every other day or just when I think it needs to be done. Basically what I do is I take all the hay off of the top of the litter box, like any hay that has spilled out while they were eating, and then I take the little wet pieces of Carefresh and I put them in the litter box as well. But then after I take all the wet stuff and the hay off the top, I just mix around the litter boxes, so just kind of mixing up the litter. That way fresh litter can go into the corners because rabbits tend to pee more in the corners than in the middle of the litter box. But that's not always true, it just kind of depends. So if you mix up the litter, it just helps so that they aren't peeing in the same spot and the same litter is getting peed on over and over again. It just helps the litter stay fresher longer and that's just really nice, especially because Carefresh is a little bit expensive, so you don't wanna be changing the litter box every couple days. And then I'm going through and picking up random pieces of poop, throwing them in the litter box, and then I'm filling up their little hay toy full of orchard grass, and they absolutely love this. I do this every single night. I sometimes do it in the morning, but normally I just do it at night. Not really sure why. But then I'm just picking up these little pine gates and I'm putting them away. And I also closed the bunnies into their pen for the night. I don't let my rabbits play when I'm sleeping just because I do have a cat and I won't be awake to like supervise them and my cat isn't like super trustworthy with rabbits. So anyways, I go ahead and put the other gate away and then I'm letting Lulu out because she showed interest in wanting to come out and play. So she kind of runs around for a couple of minutes, but she doesn't run around as long as the other bunnies do simply because she's not as young as she used to be. And then I go ahead and give her her veggies and her water dish. I didn't show me giving the Sterling and Ebony their water dish at night, but I just did it off of camera because I forgot to film it. But don't worry, I did give them their water after I cleaned it out. Uh, but then I just go ahead and give Lulu her nightly little snack. And then I am brushing her with this very soft little brush. She just is shedding a lot right now and she doesn't really mind this brush too much. So I thought I would do it while she was eating her little treat so that I could try to get a little bit of hair off of her. But once she hops away and kind of shows that she's done with me brushing her, I stop and um, that's all I do for the night. And then on this specific night, I did give her Medicam. I don't give her Medicam every 12 hours like I used to. I only give her pain meds when I feel like she looks like she needs them. So either her arthritis is bad or she seems to be in a little bit of pain. And then I went ahead and gave the bunnies a banana treat. So I gave Lulu one and then Sterling and Ebony one, which they were going in totally insane for. But that's basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my daily routine. Let me know down below if there's anything else you guys wanna see in more detail that I do in my daily routine or my weekly routine or monthly routine. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon on a new video.
拜。